Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to compare two databases in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So and here I am using DB Forge Studio 2019 for SQL Server IDE. So if you like to know how to download and install, so you should click this link how to install DB Forge Studio for SQL Server. After that you should follow this video. Now here after you find at your comparison tab. Now here after click comparison tab so we can compare with a schema or with data comparison. So let's see in this video about uh, schema comparison. So click there. Now here after you need to uh, give at your source connection. So at here you can select database backup script a snapshot. Now here after click on new. So at here currently I'm using or uh, two version of SQL Server. So if you find at here SQL Server, so you can find 2014 and here I'm using SQL Server 2017. SQL Server if you write at here 2017 and 14 are there. Now here after so at your first time going to connect with SQL Server 2017. So this is at your 74. Now if you or disconnect and here connect. So at here this is for 17 server name 17. Now here after let's give SA and give the password. And here after that so this is selected. Now here I'm going to do for test and click test it's success. Now click on OK. And here if you want then here. Uh, for 17, I'm going to select the uh, database at here, Jackson. Now, here after the next thing is going to select at here, type target, type database. And here, click on new. And here, going to select SQL Server. And here, this is at here, going to select SA. And here, give the password. Now, here after, so this is going to do for development, click type test success now click ok and here so this I'm going to compare with Adam database so add here here I'm using Adam database and here this is the tables inside Adam database now here after the next two thing is so add here this is I'm using add here SQL server or 18 now here let's get the password and here click on connect so add here, there I am using on uh, this uh, database available there. Now here, this is the JSON, add here, this is the contents, add here, inside JSON database. Now here, after uh, source and target, uh, target connection has been given, now here, after click on next. So if you click on next, and here you can find a uh, common auto mapping, so add here, compare database properties and here this is the ignore ignore and here you can find so this all are uh, checked by default now here after click next and here this is the json and here this is the adam 17 server and here this has different server now here after let's click on next so it's a calculating so and here this is and here select object that you want to compare so if you want then here you can select the objects and here reset map here. So three object is on map. Let's click on next. And here if you want then here you can select some tables views whatever you like according to requirement. Now let's click on compare. So it will start comparing soon. Now and here describe object 30. 100% it's a term. Now here you can only in so add here, it's a uh, 160 of 167 object, it's a selected. Now, now between two, add here, only target. So add here, 52s are equal. So 52 objects are equal. So add here, this is the list of equal object. Synonyms, some are synonym, some are trigger procedure view and tables are there. So that's all. Add here equal now only target four of four object. So add here table. So add here this is create table Kelly. 
So add here this table uh, present in the target but not in the source. And here this table like uh, this diagram present in the target not in the source. And here this procedure present in the target not in the source. Now here after. So add here this is the item and here this is inside JSON. And here this is the query. And here so this all the difference inside JSON and here and here this the atom so this add here it's a difference or uh, alter database and here JSON like this query it's uh, executing for update so this is the simplest way we can compare two database in Microsoft SQL Server by using db4 Studio 2019 so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.